Hey web developers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's deploy a static website with the help of Caddy. Caddy cannot be installed from the standard repositories, so we must then add the necessary repo to Ubuntu. Open a terminal window and issue the command shown in the article below. Once the repository is added, update apt with the command sudo apt get update. Finally, install caddy with the command sudo apt get install caddy y. When the installation completes, you can verify it by issuing the command caddy version. The above command should print out the complete version string for caddy. Now that caddy is installed, let's create a simple website. Issue the command curl localhost colon 2019 slash config slash. You should see a string of text that includes received request. We're going to create a very simple page and upload it to the Caddy server. Caddy configurations are all written in JSON. So create a new file with the command nano caddy.json. In that new file, paste the code you see in the article below. Save and close the file. Start Caddy with the command caddy run. You won't get your prompt back. So log in to the server with another instance and upload the file with the command curl localhost colon 2019 slash load dash capital X post dash capital H double quote content dash type colon applications slash JSON double quote dash D at caddy dot JSON. Issue the curl command curl localhost colon 2019. You should see the printout Hello, Tech Republic. You can also point a browser to http colon slash slash server IP colon 2015, where server IP is the IP address of the server hosting caddy. And you should see the message printed out as well. Of course, you don't want to have to write a JSON file to print out Hello, Tech Republic. Fortunately, the developers have included the ability to use a caddy file for deployment. So instead of writing out the brace intensive JSON, you could create a new file with the command nano caddy file. In that file, paste the following colon 2015. Respond double quote hello, comma, tech republic exclamation point double quote. Save and close the file. Stop caddy with the control C key combination and then load the new configuration file and restart caddy with the command caddy adapt. The above command must be run from within the same directory that houses your caddy file. If not, you could issue the command as caddy adapt dash dash config slash path slash to slash caddy file, where path to caddy file is the complete path to the caddy file. Point your browser to http colon slash slash server IP colon 2015, and you should see the hello tech republic message again. At this point, you've served up a single file. What if you have a static website you want to serve? House all the necessary files in a single directory, say tilde slash website, which includes an index.html file and issue the command caddy file dash server dash dash browse dash dash root tilde slash website dash dash listen space colon 2015. With that command running, point your browser to http colon slash slash server IP colon 2015, where server IP is the IP address of the server hosting caddy, and you should see the index.html file in the browser. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.